Bergman versus Fitch, the tale of the tape brought to you by Boost Mobile. Be heard. Josh Bergman, 32 years of age. He's 5'10", he weighed in at 170 pounds. His opponent, John Fitch, is 35. Six feet tall, 171 pounds in his World Series of Fighting debut. Rules of combat here at the WSOF. Ten-point must system. Three judges score the fight. It's based on effective striking, grappling, aggression, and, of course, cage control. No kicks or knees to the head of a grounded opponent. So the business is done. We are set to go here in Vegas. World Series of Fighting Three, the main event. And we send it inside the cage to Tim Hughes. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your main event of the evening. Three rounds in the World Series of Fighting Welterweight Division. Brought to you tonight by Boost Mobile, Be Heard. This bout sanctioned by the Nevada State Athletic Commission Executive Director Keith Kaiser with his cage side. The judges scoring this contest, Adelaide Bird, Junichiro Camicho, and Tony Weeks. Your referee at the opening bell is Steve Mazzagatti. This bout, a rematch seven years in the making, featuring two world-class welterweights with a combined 63 professional fights between them. For those of you with us live in Las Vegas and those watching in high definition around the world on the NBC Sports Network, can you feel it? In the blue corner of world, top 10 ranked welterweight holding up black belt in jiu-jitsu. His record, 27 wins, five losses, one draw. At six feet even, he weighed in at 171 pounds. Training at American Kickboxing Academy, fighting out of Fort Wayne, Indiana, and making his World Series of Fighting debut, it's John Finn. His opponent tonight, a mixed martial artist who developed his athletic skills from the diamond to the gridiron, but found his home inside the cage. His record, 25 wins with nine losses, undefeated in his World Series of Fighting appearances. At five feet, 10 inches tall, he weighed in at 170 pounds, training at pit elevated, fighting out of Salt Lake City, Utah. Ladies and gentlemen, Josh, the People's Warrior! All right, gentlemen, this is it. Give us a good, clean, fair fight. If they mind the match, check us up at all times. Now hook them up. Here we go. So here we go, boss. Seven years in the making, the rematch. It will be Josh Berkman taking on John Fitch in the welterweight division of the World Series of Fighting. All right, gentlemen, here we go. Now bring wow. it on, come on. Packed house here in the joint. How do you see this one going down early on? Well, I think uh, Fitch is going to press the action. He's going to come forward just like this the whole time. He's going to look for a takedown. Since coming over to the World Series of Fighting, Josh Berkman has certainly found his zen. He just seems so chill in there. And early on, not oh, the case Hitson. as he goes to work on Fitch. Whoa, he's stunning oh down. Oh, he should have had him in the full guard. It still might pull it off. He's out. That He's out. Is it. Oh, oh. He felt him go limp. He just let go. And that was it. That is crazy. How do you like the work of Josh Berkman? Welcome to the top ten, Josh Berkman. John Fitch. Sitting up now, still wondering what happened. I think the punch rocked him, got the guillotine. He felt it was on. I think he already had, it was hurting him standing when he fell backwards. Then he put him in the half guard. Normally you really want to have him in the full guard, of course. But you know, it was so tight. I think he was still dazed. That was it, passed out right away. Oh, the little boy. I was just extolling the virtue of John Fitch and Josh Berkman's calm, cool demeanor. And what happened? He went chaotic on Fitch. It was nuts. 
This was, um, yeah, what can you say? I mean, nobody ever did this to Fish, ever! Well, we can't do the, we're gonna do a whole replay from the entire fight, I guess. Here is the early action. Boom, that was it. Two hooks, a right, a left, and a right. Got some shots he wanted to hit, but he was, he Three. saw he was gonna hit the back of the head, so he didn't do it. Secure the guillotine here. Here's where it looked like it was over. Yeah, look at that. Lifted him up, wrenching it up. Yeah, that's why I didn't see that hand there. It is so tight. It's pushed up, yeah, you can finish this indeed in half guard. And now he feels him, feels him go limp. You see? One, two, three, suddenly he falls, and he lets him go. He knows it's over. Before the referee, he knew it was over. Wow! Dean Mazzagatti was right on the spot, stepped in and said, are you kidding me? Josh Berkman just did my job. We'll be back to talk to the People's Warrior and recap an explosive night here in Las Vegas. You're watching the World Series of Fighting Three. Tomorrow, golf's best compete for America's national championship. Live from Majestic Marion Golf Club in Philadelphia, the U.S. Open, part of NBC Sports Championship season. Coverage continues tomorrow, 12 p.m. Eastern on NBC. Well, the People's Warrior absolutely in a dominating performance here tonight in Las Vegas, Nevada at World Series of Fighting Three. Make it 3-0 for Josh Berkman since making the move to the WSOF and maybe nothing more explosive than what we just saw against a very talented John Fitch. Yeah, watch this. They start swinging and now left hook, right hook. Boom, that was it. Stunned him. Few shots to the face. Boom, guillotine, tight, lift. Oh, he feels, he's falling back, puts him in the half guard. It was so tight, you could see his hand sticking up to the side of the neck. He feels him go limp, just moves. Whoa. No doubt about it, Josh Berkman in stunning fashion. Right now, we set it inside the cage. Tim Hughes has the official decision of this one. How about it, Hard Rock? What do you say? The end comes at 41 seconds of the very first round. By way of a guillotine choke and submission, your winner, Josh the People's Warrior, Bergman. Wow. Yeah. What you wanna do? If you don't strike first, that's when they gon' come at you. Yeah. And you know it's true. Don't let your life get worse. Being timid, that ain't cool. Nah.